everybody. This is uh, an all new, all different, all fun, super cool episode for the week of midnight. It is going strong. If you guys have not been following, make sure you check out FTO Nerd Talk on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, YouTube to follow up on all the creators of uh, the week of midnight. And we got like one of the co-creators of Midnight Comics, Lloyd Jones, uh, the the man himself, the the soul king, as it were, of Midnight Comics. Lloyd, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, good sir. Glad to be here. <laughs> I'm glad glad to have you. This has been a long time coming, and uh, I use I use the term Soul King because like one of your characters' name is Soul, so oh, I, I, I had to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I was figuring out you guys have like four different titles, uh, four yeah. different like uh, different titles at Midnight Combos right now, and. Uh, one of the few that stood out to me is uh is Gray, but uh, one of the other ones who's like very altruistic, very like authentic old school superhero is Soul character, and like this is this is your this is your baby, like this is your your project that you created, right? Yes, that is correct. Um, oh sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. Like you you're gonna go keep on going. I'm all for it. Oh yeah, so yeah, so Soul yeah he is he is the embodiment of the two Egyptian deities, Amon and Ra, but they're fused together before they dive into his body. So a little bit of his origin story. What happens is um, basically Amon Ra is fighting against Isfet, the embodiment of chaos, and he's losing that fight. And essentially what he does is like, well, I need to hide out for now. Let me become one with the human, resurface, regain my powers and uh, take the fight back to Isfet. But what he doesn't count on is when he dives into the woman, she's pregnant. So his power and his physiology goes into the child, which is soul. His mind goes into the mom. And so now soul's got to figure out how to utilize the powers without the knowledge of the power that he's wielding. Oh, that's cool. That's like a, like a blue beetle kind of situation going on. But, you know, right. but he was born into it. So I got like, like a, a blue beetle Goku from Dragon Ball Z kind of situation. I like that. That's a good fusion. Right. I dig that. That's cool. <laughs> that's uh that's uh, i got that's pretty damn rich like you like like some 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 sprinkling of a blade inside there too really that's wow yes. okay. dude i see that that's that's wow <laughs> that's genius actually man thank you so um i, I just read it out like you know three different properties that like are like every hardcore nerd knows about but i still gotta ask the question like where did you get like the inspiration for this character in particular i'm really i'm really curious uh, I like history and religion. So um, that's where it started, really. Um, we were looking for the uh, the powerhouse character and stuff. And it was just like, what is what is kind of the, the, you know, first, yeah, powerhouse character. But now the religion thing in regards to like us, right? We're seeing this constant um, resurgence, if you would, of trying to find ourselves. Right. Looking back to Africa, looking back to, you know, where we all come from, right? And so some of the spiritual and, and religious teachings in Texas stuff over there is just like, okay, well, what if we saw that in the here and now? How how if we actually saw, hey, look, there's Anubis in here, not some kind of imitation of him or some kind of um, you know manifestation of what his abilities would be. No, what if we saw these beings and how would they interact with us if that was an occurrence that actually happened? So. And and that that's your constant mindset as like you're you're writing these pages and like talking to your your artists about putting this like like pen to paper like this is this is your thought exactly. process that you got going on right now. Exactly. Right on. And you got a you got a couple of other you got Blue Morto, uh, uh, Amani, and Gray, right? Yes. And these are all like literally like different different walks of life when it comes to story. Like the stories like are, they do yeah. not blend or copy each other and. Uh, if you guys like like want to listen to the previous episode with uh, with uh, Tashi, it's uh, she, we talked and she tells me that you were the person to talk to when it talks about uh, how these characters are created. And Blue Mortal is really interesting. Like uh, 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 Amani is really interesting, but I'm really interested about Gray. Like, where did the idea of Gray come from? Oh, we. Oh my goodness. So I think Tasha says this best, but we don't see enough of, I guess, just black women being these really smart characters or they get cast to the side or something. But like, what do they, what does she, like, so for the instance of the gray, she's really smart. And I, I will say this, she can't, she's like, she's not really good at fighting. I will say that, um, not spoilers. 
but the gauntlets that she wears on her hands are one shot, right? Like if she manages to hit you with the attack, chances are you're getting knocked out. But that's using her knowledge, using her scientific know-how, her big brain, if you would, in order to handle her situation, right? You know, we the saying it's not always the strongest that win the battle, right? But with her, she's always kind of like, again, she's, I, I'm going to ramble about it because it's my favorite character. <laughs> so we, we wanted this super smart character and that be the focus, right? Her, what, what can she bring to this, to the table in this world? She's going against, mm, spoilers. The people that she's going against have more on her, right? Whether it's uh, people that can fight against her, money, resources, and all this other stuff. But mind-wise, what is, how can she get through this scenario? So not only just scientific know-how, but how to bring down this uh, group, if you would, um, in this doomsday scenario that they could bring about. I have a I have a tendency to ramble and almost give stuff away. So oh no, me I, 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 I am here for it, like a hundred percent. And I feel like you you want this character, like like not to be able to fight from the get, and you want her like to learn yeah. these things as she goes along. It's uh it has like that kind of shonen kind of feel to it, like you know a character who who doesn't have like the ability to fight, but like they, they learn along the way. And like you know we learn more about the character when they're put into all those tough and like you know difficult situations. Yes, absolutely. Again, I'm all for that. Like, uh, it, it's all, it's really cool. Like not one, like to see like a character who is highly intelligent and very like, you know, like a technopath in a way, but also has like, you know, the ability to, to, to gather a story that's primarily mostly for men and like flip it and put from what, what Tashi said also, like, you know, like, like the, the pain and the struggle of certain characters that I like, made that she's gone through and put that into a character like this, who has like all these, these skills and accolades, but like don't have like the, the the raw force and brute that most people right. like who have like that kind of strength or power would have like that's it's kind of flipping on his head a little bit it seems like like that's that's like your 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 flavor is flipping things on his head like and people don't suspect it and you put mm -hmm. a lot more nuance inside of it yes and the things that we have planned for this character man oh my goodness because again the with the gauntlets that she has on there so um you remember uh and it's probably about quite a few years ago the whole thing with the uh Hadron Collider and the whole worry about, oh, they could make black holes with it and it's right. kind of, you know, ah, the conspiracy. She manages to do that. And that's the gauntlets on her hand is miniature versions of that. So right? you're a sci-fi guy powerful. too, huh? Say again? So you're a sci-fi type, sci-fi guy yeah. too, huh? Right yeah. on, man. So, but yeah, it's like she's, she's managed to figure out how to create particle accelerators that can fit on your wrist and then upon turning them on, it generates a black hole. So it's almost a symbiotic like kind of relationship, right? Like you use the particle accelerator to start up the black hole and the black hole provides the energy in order to shoot the blast and stuff that she's able to do. So. All right, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> that's cool. Like I like that. Like I'm, I'm very hardcore, um, like Star Trek vibe, like off that to be honest with you. But uh, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna switch it up and talk about uh, Blue Morpho. Like Blue Morpho okay. is, is really different than the other the other two comics we talked about and it's different because it's all in black and white like all of it's black and white there is no color inside this comic itself for the cover itself and i feel like you did that for a reason like why why is this comic the only one that's in black and white so um the character that you see in this prologue for the blue morpho is actually the epilogue to the butterfly and i have that right next to me this is she came out in the 70s. She is credited with being the first black superheroine ever created. I like, like, she like before Storm, being, uh, before Ants, like like she was the first one. Like I look, I looked into that like a couple of years ago. Like she was the very first, like said to be like the first black female superhero ever. Yeah. And they came out with two issues, both were like 11 pages. And that was it. We were like, well, that's you know, that sucks. Like there's there's some meat here. Like, let's do something with it. Right. And so what we did is basically um, we wanted to, of course, tell our own story. So the Blue Morpho is our character, which we made her daughter. But what I want to do is the, the technical title for the issue that's inside Tales from Midnight is End of an Era. And we wanted to finish off the Butterfly story. Like you could read the first two issues of Butterfly and then pick our Tales from Midnight up and look at that and be like, oh, I know what she's going against. I know who these people are almost. Right. Like the villains and stuff she's fighting. And but, so, you know, oh. so, so like, so like, this is all part of your midnight verse. Like, uh, like all these yeah. stories are in continuity with each other, and we're gonna see Blue Morto and like, uh, 
Adam and Eve, like the and like they're they're all they're all going to connect to each other, right? Hmm. They are detached stories right now. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> I I wouldn't be doing my job, Lord, if I didn't ask. Like you know, you just rattle off so many different like things when it comes like to nerdum. Like uh, you talked about uh, Shonen. We talked about <laughs> different types of comic books. We talked about different parts of sci-fi. I'm pretty sure like you're into like, you know, and uh, <laughs> and quantum theory physics also. And I got to ask, like, uh, why <laughs> why aren't all these stories connected? Like, I got I to gotta ask. That is a really good question. <laughs> um, and that's a really good answer. <laughs> a really good question. I will say this, there is a plan for all of them. Okay. There's a huge plan for all of them. I'll say it like that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask like a, a spoiler question for like all the fans out there. Cause I know like Midnight Comics has been on fire. Like uh, I saw you guys at the Atlanta Comic Con and like ever since then, you guys have been posting more and more things about how so many people have been buying your stuff. How so many people have been putting the word out for you guys. Like I, 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 like I can talk to your wife. She said she's having more interviews about like midnight comics i know you've been having like, a lot of people talking to you also about midnight comics so like i gotta i gotta ask like since these stories are not in a shared universe right now which is like disappointing like i just gotta say that since it's not in a shared universe are you are you gonna add <laughs> are you gonna add more characters to these like uh isolated oh. universes that the all characters live in absolutely okay absolutely are we gonna get like any, get any kind of like team books? Any kind of books you can tell us like that's gonna be happening sometime soon? Cause you got kids, like you gotta give us like a team book. You gotta give us, you gotta give us, like a book that, that you know maybe not a sidekick. I know that, that that's, yeah, that's no, kind of dried out, but there is so in so, okay. So I can, I can say this management's not sitting in front of me right now. So I'm not <laughs> <in my world>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that's slick what I call Tosh. <laughs> that's management. <laughs> oh, I get it. I, I get that all. But, <laughs> um, there is in the gray. There is a um, is a team up coming for sure. Wow. There's definitely a team up coming there. And there, there mm, yeah, there's a team up coming in that one, absolutely for sure. Which. That could have been my answer a second ago. If I, I mean, my I mean, like you do have a comic book called Tales from the Midnight. I'm just like the, the whole thing is called Tales from the Midnight. You could have just did that, but it's cool. It's fine. The time has passed, Lloyd. Like we can't go back, man. <laughs> no, but well, my answer would be uh, <laughs> there's a hint to the team up at the end of the grip. Okay. All right. Like I like I said before, I'm here for it. Like uh. No. Soul, soul really caught my eye. The art tune is pretty incredible. And like you like a whole slew of artists, uh, OP, Psycho, uh, Sergi, uh, Delami, and Vince Jones, Vince White. Like you get like a lot of people who are are a part of this, who create this. Uh, Matthews Hivu or Huve mm -hmm. uh, did they did the colors for most of these, and like the stuff is good. Like thank you. Like they, it's, yeah, it's, they, it's they really, really went in with this. They incredible. Can. Like you, got, you got a good eye for artists, and like the artists themselves are incredible. Like you guys did great. I love all of this. Um, <laughs> I, I do gotta ask though, like, like what what do we have to see like for the future of Midnight? What, what's what's coming to us in the future of Midnight, and when is it coming? Okay, so um, so prior to Tales from Midnight, we had the Unbeloved out. So that's this here. Um, the next issue for this is done. Um, that'll wow. most likely be coming out in January. Um, also so, isolated universes, right? Yes. I know. I, I want to keep bringing it up. Dude. Just like, just letting you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep bringing it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, um, so the third issue for that will be dropping in January. Dogma is another story um, that'll be coming out in October next year. Um Pause just for a second. Is, is Dogma connected to Soul? Considering like he's a very religious type character. <laughs> so I, mm, no comment. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm I'm here, man. Like, yeah, hey, it's not not just a head rack, right? <laughs> right. So yeah, I mean, yeah, you did pick up on obviously the title and uh, religion and stuff. Um, I will answer, uh, there are connections oh. in Dogma. 
Like, hey, uh, this is how we get our multiverse uh, team up here. Right? <laughs> just, let, just letting you guys know, this is how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 else, what else you got coming out, Lloyd? <laughs> um, there's several other stories that we're working on. There's a story um, called The Pantheon that's also being worked on. Um, that's going to... That and again, you see a tone with the yeah, and, stuff. and like, dude, like yeah. I said, for like with the art and like like these names that you're dropping out here, like in effect, we got some team ups coming. Like this sounds like, like I know, like I'm a glorified hype man, but uh, it's kind of hard not to get hype about what you're saying to me right now. <laughs> yes, that, see, this is exciting. You see, I just keep constantly smiling. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm like, I'm like, like your wife is gone. Like you just spilling the beans. Like I'm gonna be posting this soon. To like, mm -hmm. <laughs> be so much. Like Lord, knows what, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Telling all the damn secrets. <laughs> um, there's another story, The Last Day, that I've been messing around with since high school on and off, but I've actually got some issues done for that. Um, but the more immediate thing, well, yeah, Pantheon, Last Day, uh, Raven's Omen, and those are the three that don't have any dogmas. Yeah, Last Day, Raven's Omen, Pantheon. Those three are the only ones that do not have Last day has art, but the other two do not have any art yet. Who's doing but art for all, all three of these titles? Say again. Who's doing oh, who's art for these three titles? Yeah. Um, there's a gentleman by the name of Martin Patron, I believe, on okay. Instagram, who's doing Dogma right now. Um, hopefully, as long as the schedule doesn't get too booked up, I'd like for him to do the other uh, two stories as well, and now kind of be a part of Tales from Midnight Two for next year and just introduce that next roster. But while that next roster is getting introduced, I'd like to begin the, you know, solo issues for each of the stories at the same time. No, I feel that too. Do you, and good uh, news for a lot of these stories, all of them are, there's a, there's a chapter title and synopsis to the end of most of these. <laughs> to just about the end already. So, yeah, work do, is happening. Do you have a, do, do, do you have a Kickstarter coming out anytime soon? Um, I would love to give that a try for um, the unbeloved soon. Um, it'll be it, the, we were going to do it for tales, but it felt very daunting, and it was just like, ah, you know what? Maybe now's not the time. Let's, you know, do this as a pre-order. You know, get more acclimated to being in in this space, if you would, in the, in the indie space, and then you know, then we'll do it. And with the unbeloved being the first story that you came out with, it's like, okay, that might make more sense to do it. So uh, it, it can be a lot of pressure. Like, and then, like you got to hype yourself up too. Like, if it doesn't work out yeah. the way you want, so, like, there's a lot of strain on yourself. Like, no, I get that. I'm like, uh, I know, like, like uh, what I do is like really in the same category of what you do, but like, I feel the same reservation that you feel about doing stuff like that because, because, like, you know, it, it can be a lot to do a Kickstarter. So I hear you. Right. So, you know, so we're on standby with that. And the other thing that's happening next year in regards to Midnight is we are a part of a indie team up. Um, coming out Vince White is actually he has his own thing called the Powerverse and what he's doing with that is he gathered and he's doing the indie deck right now as well um, but what he's doing with that is he's trying to bring together multiverse style like you were saying a second ago all the uh, various indie characters and so you'll see um, uh, oh goodness I'm trying to think there's a uh, Ajax Opossum um the negotiator there's several indie characters that's in this uh uh the leopard there's hold on i have a picture as well too well i don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, but uh, yeah, yeah if you see on the like site a, an indie amalgam going on like because like, yeah. if that happens you get like like an indie amalgam amalgam thing going on man like blending up mm -hmm. characters ooh, ooh. Ooh. and so soul's gonna be a part of that um and where the issue of tales from midnight ends with soul it picks right up with him in that issue for, in uh it's called the oh. powers that be super team so, and so souls flying off doing his thing very next scene you see him in he's it's right after that last panel but it wouldn't so, it wouldn't technically be uh in the same universe but it would be a part soul will be a part of the shared universe which is a part of the power power verse Ooh, that's correct that's interesting right on so that man. that's gonna be three issues he's finishing up the second one already and so that third one's going to happen and they're going to do um, release that at some point next year. So exciting times, man. So oh, I like it. Uh, I <laughs> asked this question. I asked this question to everybody. 
uh, I love asking this question. I'm really excited to hear like the like all the future things you got going on, like with you and Vince Vince White and like other. I'm pretty sure you got other companies you're talking to on the side also. You want to do some more stuff with, but uh, oh, yeah. a lot of people have been helping you out, man. A lot of people have been doing like all the kind of stuff with you and like like helping you along the way, like your wife, other people, friends, myself included. I just gotta ask, like, what would you want to say to all those people who've had your back throughout this entire time? Are you doing not only like a uh, Gamer Haven, but also like changing it around and turning like that into Midnight Con? Like, what we gonna say to all those folks? Um, first off, thank thank you, thank thank you everybody, because there there have been times, good God, where it's just like, is this is this something that we're gonna really be able to do? And you know, getting down the dumps, but don't be afraid to 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 start. Don't be afraid to start and, and keep going because you're, I used to say this all the time, I kind of stopped, but you're the most inspirational person to somebody. So somebody seeing you pushing forward and continue going no matter what that trouble is, that's that that's motivation enough. So, yeah, I think I said that right. <laughs> no, no, I feel that. That's, that's uh, it's like to a point, like, you know, you are someone's inspiration. Just keep doing what you're doing. I feel it right on. Uh -oh. Lloyd, where, where can people find you? What, people can, what can people find Midnight Comics? Um, Midnightcomics.org, first off. Um, we do have a mailing list and stuff, and we do um, regularly post on there and regularly uh, send out mail, uh, stuff on our mailing list. Um, you can find us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Midnight Comics. Um, and then Instagram, Midnight X Comics. I think that's the only place where it's any different. Everywhere is Midnight Comics, except for Instagram and twitter Weird. those are midnight x midnight comics. x comics yep yeah but everything else is just midnight comics right on that's it lord this has been fun man like uh, i can't wait for people to hear more about midnight comics can't wait to see, let's see you guys grow even more the week of midnight has been a blast i hope everyone's been enjoying themselves uh we gotta do this again, man. We gotta like hang out and talk yeah. more about Midnight Comics because I know you got like those three combos coming out and after man. checking out soul ooh, ooh, and great oh, that's gonna be a good one <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I know that, like, you're a big fan of Grey. I see why I'm here for it. I know I got compared her to Reed Richards. I still kind of stand yeah. by that. Like, she has, like, a very, very Reed Richards vibe. I wouldn't say Dino Girl or even Power Girl, but I mean, like, like, she definitely feels like, like, a, a, a Reed Richards type character. So, like, I'm all, I'm all for seeing, like, what she does. So, so okay. <laughs> keep, keep doing you, man. Keep going strong. And uh, I'm, I'm grateful for the time. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm just D F2 Nerd Talk. Uh, find me at F2 Nerd Talk and everywhere you can find F2 Nerd Talk. And until next time, you guys take it easy.